Paste. Here's a quick guide on how to unlock all the characters now that Risk of Rain 2 has gone full release. So let's get right into it. The first survivor is Commando, and to get him, you just have to purchase the game. The second survivor is Multi, and he is unlocked by beating the first level five times. Easy. The third survivor is Huntress, and she is unlocked by beating stage three on a single run. <laughs> the fourth survivor is Mercenary, and is unlocked by obliterating at the Celestial Portal on stage nine. If you're new, this may be a little hard, so playing on an easier difficulty will help you get the Mercenary faster. Once you enter the Celestial Portal, jump down the rocks and get to the shrine looking thing and just interact with it. Once you obliterate, you unlock the Mercenary. The fifth survivor is the Engineer, and he is unlocked after completing 30 stages total. These 30 stages can be completed over multiple runs, so you don't have to get to stage 30 on a single run. The sixth survivor is Artificer, and unlocked by freeing her from the Newt Shop with 10 Lunar Coins. The easiest way to get to the Newt Shop is to find a new Altar and donate 1 Lunar Coin to spawn a blue portal. If you want to know where to find these new altars, I'll leave a guide in the description down below. Once you get to the Newt Shop, the Artificer will be on the right of the Newt Shop Keeper. Donate 10 coins and you'll unlock the Artificer. The seventh survivor is Rex and unlocked by taking the Field Array to him on Stage 4, Abyssal Depths. The Feel Array is an equipment item located on the back of the pod. This means that you'll have to be playing a character that lands with the pod, i.e. not multi or accurate. The Feel Array has to then be carried to stage 4, but here's the catch. The Feel Array will explode if your health drops below 50%. This also means that if you fall off the stage, you'll trigger the Feel Array to explode. Getting Rex is a bit of RNG because there is a 50% chance that you'll get Abyssal Deaths or Siren's Call. But once you do get to Abyssal Depths, Rex will be waiting on the third platform in the middle of the map. Just take the geysers to the top and then interact with him. The eighth survivor is Loader and is unlocked by destroying the ally warship on stage 4, Siren's Call. To get the ally warship to spawn, you'll have to break five egg nests located around the map. Once you break all five, the ally warship will spawn in the center of the map near the fountain. Once you beat it, you unlock Loader. The ninth survivor is Acrid and unlocked by completing the challenge in the Void Fields. To get to the Void Fields, you'll have to go to the Bazaar Between Time, also known as the Newt Shop map. There is a hidden cave underneath the map that you'll have to go through. You will have to charge 9 cells to complete the challenge. If you're outside the cell bubble, you'll take damage. Once a cell is charged, the next cell will spawn randomly on the map and can be seen from its light beacon. Playing a mobile survivor is optimal to travel between cell to cell. The captain is the final survivor and is unlocked by reaching stage 5 sky battles. You'll have to find and charge the teleporter, but make sure not to interact with the prongs on the outside of the teleporter because that'll change the destination from the moon and re-loop you back around. Once you get to the moon, go to the final boss and beat him. He's pretty tough but very fun, so I won't spoil how the fight goes. Once you beat him, the captain will be unlocked. And that's it. That's how to unlock all the characters in Risk of Rain 2. Uh, I thought I'd just put out a friendly guide for all the new people that may be joining us playing this game. And don't worry, I have a new Captain video coming out very soon. See you guys.